Hey guys, I'm here for Phone Radar and this is the unboxing of Leaf iBridge. I had earlier shown a USB OTG drive for iPhones which was from Adam Elements. You can check out the link that would be shown up somewhere around here. But if you want something which also supports a micro HD card and which connects to your Apple devices, then this is something for you. This is called as iBridge and this is a mobile memory which is available in different options like this is in 16GB, we have a 2GB one also available. This is from an international store, mobile phone, you can check out the link in the description to know more about the same but again it's also available in India but again that said when you do a price comparison the Indian one is selling at 5000 rupees onwards for this unit while on mobile phone you get it at a better price. Let's open up the package and show you what all comes within the same and how this works in actual. So here within the package what you get is are uh, these contents. Here is the Leaf Eye Bridge, that's the USB drive which allows you to connect an, or expand your storage of your iPhone with an external SD card. So here you go and uh, this is the additional uh, casing to the same. Coincidentally there is no manual or any other information which is available within the package. So what you get here is uh, all the information which is mentioned here and if you clearly notice it says you can backup and download photos and videos on the go. Flexible device design works with uh, any of your cases. Share files quickly bet uh, between the lightning and USB devices. So uh, that's what it is and here is the actual unit. So to get started you need uh, the leaf application that's available on the mobile store and uh, you can start using it again if you look into this it says uh, designed in california and uh, there's this mention of leafco.com that's the official website name this has a very interesting design so i'm sure this won't work if you have a case on it but this is what you get the moment you switch here it says app not installed and it would ask you to connect to the app store I have already uh, installed the app, it's actually installing. So let's wait for the same to complete it. And uh, you can connect this end to switch connect to your computer and download all the files. While I had earlier mentioned that this supports a micro SD card, that's not valid because there's an additional product. I thought that's the one I had got, and uh, that's not this one. This is an uh, uh, this is a product which just allows you to expand the storage so let's check out the application itself so here it says uh, this is the perfect solution never miss any moment and uh, let's get started so here it says you can transfer the files now you have different options you can move the uh, data from your photos application to the ibridge or from the ibridge to your photos or else you can use this as a file manager so let's try this option and here under camera roll it would uh, select the photos and send it so let's say i have this time lapse i would like to send it to the uh, ibridge it says copy to ibridge or move to ibridge uh, generally i don't really find uh, any products uh, from apple which allow you to move uh, move the files they all allow you to transfer or copy the content so that's what is one of those options so let's go to the settings and uh, check out few of the options here so let's select show hidden files so this is the application which gives you all the options show album covers when in landscape let's select the grid mode storage information so out of the box you get the 16 gb storage out of which uh, the capacity is available capacity is of 14.92 and uh, we have used nothing while on the iphone this is the current storage leaf capacity limit is maximum of uh, 2 gb which is probably for one file i guess capacity limit and uh, limit app storage usage so we can also set it here if you would like to set an limit for specific files so that's about the product itself let's we also have option of uh, photo backup and uh, contacts backup and you can restore it so that's very interesting if you're switching to a new device you can do that right away now here's another application which is option wherein the moment you capture a photo it would actually transfer directly to the ibridge which is a very interesting option because 
that way you don't have to worry about the storage issues on your iPhones and we are done let's move back content viewer where you can find all the files which are captured so here we have the photos captured with this you also have the app content let's move back and let's try to transfer some files so let's say we would like to transfer the files from the iBridge to our camera roll so let's say we want to copy to camera roll and that should have been done by now let's quickly go to the camera roll that's the photos application and check it out so here this photo is already in the camera roll so that's very easy and nifty and uh, you can easily transfer files from your iPhone or any of your Apple devices to uh, the I, uh, leaf bridge or again maybe back so that's a very interesting uh, nifty product and I'll be doing another video of a similar product which I'll just order from the mentioned website that's mobile fun because I thought that's the one they have recently launched another product which has a similar name but also supports the micro SD card so stay tuned for the same so this was the unboxing and a quick demo of the leaf iBridge mobile memory don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed this is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video thank you